Hello, welcome to the My Tool Belt. This is Michael. I thought today we'd talk about something a little bit simple. It's called Create Annotation. The way this works is it takes any object that you select, let's say a cube, or a cylinder, or whatever. Select a cube, go to Create Annotation. Click it, and you get this little pop-up box here. Enter Annotation, and just type in whatever you want to uh, label this cube as, say, such as the Maya Tool Belt Cube. OK. And then you have this little text uh, up here that you can move. And it has a line that will associate itself with the pivot point of the cube, which is its center point. So it's pretty simple. You can just label things, especially if you're in like a, a team working environment. If you have a project that you've done that you've sent off to someone else, or if you're like a ma in a management position, you can create these little annotations on a project or a, a asset and send it back to the artist and say, Here, "Here's the things I want you to do," and you can have all these little notes in the scene pointing to things. So let's briefly take a look at the uh, components of this thing. We'll go open the outliner. And you see now that my cube has this group, these things grouped to it or parented to them, the annotation locator, and then the annotation itself. And the annotation itself is the text, and the annotation locator is what this line is pointing to, and also the uh, group of the text. If you move the locator, you can see the annotation is actually parented to the locator, then the locator is parented to the cube. So if you select the cube, it'll move the annotation and the locator, and the locator itself will just move the annotation. So by default, the locator goes to the pivot point of whatever you have selected. The annotation will move with the locator, okay, but then you can move the annotation around, and that arrow will always point at that locator. Uh, over here on the right in the channel box, you'll see under the annotation shape display arrow. So you can turn this arrow off and on just by typing it in over here. Turn it off, for example. It is a bit easier to see what this annotation is referring to by having it on. So with this locator, like I said, it's by default, goes to the pivot point of my cube here. I can move it to this corner, for example. So you could say this cube, but that this cube's corner needs to be changed. And if you ever want to change this text, just hit the uh, attribute editor, and under annotation shape, you have text right here. So I could just change this to fix this corner. Hit enter, and it changes that text. So that's annotation in a nutshell. It's pretty simple but uh, can be very useful depending on what you do as in your job if you're uh, critiquing art as it comes across your desk or if you're in a team environment and you're just wanting to make notes to each other or even to yourself if you come back to your file later and you see your little notes to yourself to change things so anyway that's been annotation for the Maya tool belt this has been Michael I hope you like this video if you learned something definitely let me know uh, comment, like, subscribe is definitely a big help. If you have any suggestions or uh, have any uh, requests for a tool that I go over next, definitely let me know. I'm obviously open to that because I want them all, so it's going to take a while. And uh, thanks again. Talk to you later.